Hello everyone, my name is Mohamed Reza Ashuri and in this presentation video I'm going to talk about my research paper uh, an extensive security analysis on Ethereum smart contracts. So All right, so before we plunge into the details of the paper and this research, I would like to introduce you some, you know, basic concepts regarding Ethereum and smart contracts for those of you who are not too much familiar with this area. So essentially, Ethereum is a decentralized blockchain platform that establishes a peer-to-peer -peer network that securely uh, executes and verifies application code. So this application code are uh, application uh, code are basically called smart contracts. So uh, smart contracts allow participants of a blockchain network to transact with each other without a trusted centralized authority. So we are trying to actually uh, break it down with uh, explaining its its main components. So regarding um, or the question might be, what are the key components of the Ethereum blockchain? So key uh, components constitutes clients here, transaction pool, uh, miners, mining pool, Ethereum virtual machine. So the first Ethereum block is called basically Genesis block, which means the first block in blockchain. And regarding node or client, node is a device or a piece of code that communicates with the Ethereum network and nodes are also known as clients so these are just interchangeable you know uh, terms and um, there are actually a couple of softwares that can function as an ethereum node such as parity go ethereum which is a ethereum virtual machine written um, go language and there are so many out there so what is a block block is a package of data that has zero or more transaction and the hash of and also contains the hash of the previous block and some metadata, etc. Then the other important concept here is uh, miner. So what is a miner? Miner basically adds the block to the blockchain. That's the main functionality of miner. And miners are simply uh, like nodes in a blockchain network who find basically new block, confirm transaction, and uh, commit new transaction in the block. So that's how get rewarded by mining. So then the other concept is proof of work. So proof of work is an activity that miners undertake to write transaction to a new block. So the next important component here in the Ethereum uh, blockchain is called Ethereum virtual machine or uh, the EVM. So decentralized, um, you know, it, you know, which is basically um, a centralized computing platform or decentralized computing platform, which forms the core of the Ethereum platform. So that's similar to Java virtual machine. We have an alternative you know, machine. This is called uh, Ethereum virtual machine. So, and the final you know, concept is a smart contract. So a smart contract is uh, basically a persistent uh, piece of code. Um, I can actually hear um, explain that. Um, So essentially, a smart contract is a, a persistent piece of code on the Ethereum blockchain or any other blockchain that basically supports the smart contract. And it has uh, basically a set of data and uh, an executable function. So it comprises data and functions. And these functions basically execute when Ethereum or EVM transactions get triggered. Uh, with a certain input parameters. This is how they basically get executed. So based on the input parameters, the function will execute and interact with, uh, with data um, within or outside of the contract. So the, we have also the other you know, concepts here, like such as gas limits and mining pool, etc. So you can actually find more information in the paper about that. Um, Regarding a smart contract, because it's the main basically concept of this paper, and we are, we are going to introduce how we perform security analysis on them. Uh, smart contracts, we can see them, we can basically perceive them as simple programs uh, stored on a blockchain, all right, that uh, run when predetermined conditions are made. So it works based on the conditions, and they typically are used to automate the execution of an agreement so that all participants in the network can be immediately 
uh, uh, immediately certain of uh, the outcome. So everybody knows what's going on without any intermediate uh, media, mediary, um, basically um, any proxy involvement or time loss. So they can also automate a workflow triggering the next action when conditions are met. So in this basically research paper, we focused on the security aspect of uh, smart contract. So, uh, before we plunge into the security aspects, let's talk about some of the benefits of a smart contract. So according to IBM, smart contracts have various benefits, such as speed, efficiency, and accuracy. So once a condition is met, the contract is executed immediately because the smart contracts are digital and automated. There is no paperwork to process and no time spent uh, reconciling errors that often result from manual filling in documents. So we have trust and transparency. What does it mean? Because there is no any third party involved. There is no any proxies. And because encrypted records of transaction are shared across participants, there is no need to question whether information has been altered for personal benefits because everything is transparent and is, there is a concept of agreement, a decentralized agreement. And lastly, security. So blockchain transaction records are encrypted, which makes them very hard to hack. It is not impossible to hack, but it's actually quite um, significant and it's very challenging. Moreover, because each record is connected to the previous one and the subsequent record on the distributed ledger, uh, hackers would have to alter the entire change of a blockchain to change basically a single record, which uh, in large or large enough networks such as Bitcoin or Ethereum seems to be impossible. However, the last point is not very accurate and that's why we have this basically research. You know, even though, you know, uh, there is a uh, basically general uh, perception regarding the security of blockchain technology, particularly in Ethereum, and the people think that's very secure in um, but this is not actually all the fact. So as you can see in this table, um, there are multiple vul uh, well-known security issues, uh, vulnerabilities reported in Ethereum smart contracts ecosystem that all have been comprehensively described in various references that you can also find in my paper. Um, we have actually a lot of uh, vulnerability and security issues in different layers, such as uh, Solidity code. Solidity is the main language similar to JavaScript for developing smart contracts for the Ethereum. Uh, virtual machine and then in the, in the blockchain itself you know in the architecture of that logical issues issues related to oracles and even issues inside of the EVM and uh, virtual machine so for instance one of the legendary vulnerabilities of the cyber attacks is called um, reentrancy and the, the cyber attack actually was uh, called DAO so on June 17 2016 the DAO smart contracts which is one of the most, or it was one of the most uh, reputable smart contracts at the time on the Ethereum network, was subjected to a cyber attack that was exploiting a combination of you know, uh, smart contract vulnerabilities, including one of the concerning recursive calls. So that's re uh, attack actually is associated to uh, recursive calls. And that result in, uh, in the transfer or illegal transfer of 3.6 million ether token valued at the time around 50 million dollar and at the time that i'm recording this uh, presentation it's about more than 10 billion dollar so that actually shows you the scale of attack and uh, the power of attacks and the sensitivity of the environment so in order to address these issues um, we provide a solution uh, our solution is called eth FOS or ethereum FOS, and uh, this is a framework for vulnerability analysis and exploit, automatic exploit generation for the EVM or Italian virtual machine. So our solution is responsible to find, analyze and uh, generate exploit for a wide range of security issues in uh, Ethereum ecosystem. So we designed a framework and, uh, and uh, we basically combine various techniques such as call graph analysis dynamic execution and symbolic testing in order to identify 
uh, exploitable path in a given smart contracts and generate potential triggering inputs i.e. exploit for them so here I'm going to break it down and explain you each stage uh, with more details so the first stage um, you know as you can see here you know ETH FOSS comprises three main stages the first stage is code property graph analysis so in this stage we perform a call graph analysis and we basically look for low-level uh, EVM instructions in a given uh, smart contracts uh, that might be the subject of any potential cyber attack so here in this table as you can see on the screen you, you see some of the EVM instructions um, and these instructions are basically are more involved in potential hacks and hackers and cyber attackers are very interested in these sort of basic instructions to manipulate the contract and perform various attack. Uh, the second, uh, for, for further information about the instructions, please take a look at the paper and its references. And um, after this, uh, we basically perform backward slicing in order to find associated source of inputs that triggers these you know, critical uh, methods inside of a given binary. And um, then we combine basically dynamic execution and symbolic execution, symbolic testing, uh, to make sure those, you know, about the lack of sanitization and uh, security issues in executable paths in a given um, uh, smart contracts and report that to the end user. So in order to interpret and identify potential exploitable paths within the bytecode of a you know a smart contract, we generate a call uh, a, a graph model of the target smart contracts in the first step. So our graph model is based on code property graphs or CPGSS. So this is an exten uh, extensible and language agnostic representation of program code designed for incremental and distributed code analysis. So it's not just limited to um, basically um, um, EVM or a smart contract. This is a general you know, concept. And these you know, CPGS uh, uh, are constructed based on the EVM bytecode. Uh, in order to help us to distinguish critical instructions and the relevant execute, exe, uh, executable paths. And uh, note that a critical instruction in a generated CPG, uh, CPGS uh, or CPG can be managed to find data dependency paths between the variables in the code. So after finding this path, we later execute them symbolically in order to produce the corresponding inputs or uh, in our term basically exploits and the next stage we perform dynamic execution so in real world uh, smart contracts in commercial smart contracts using off-the-shelf libraries for safety enhancements is quite common so nowadays many developers use open uh, zeppelin uh, open zeppelin safe mat uh, is one of the basically popular libraries in the smart contracts in solidity for protecting a smart contract code against uh, integer overflow or underflow attacks. So, in our approach, we also consider to identify and label the presence of this protection in our analysis. Why? Because we want to reduce potential false positive reports. Because if a path is uh, secure, you know, and is uh, well basically properly uh, sanitized, we don't want to report that to the end users because it's going to be false positive. It's not helpful. So to do so, we leveraged a dynamic execution engine to assess the executable target path within actual runtime data. So we collect runtime data and then we basically evaluate potential executable paths. So in dynamic execution model, a specific input or operation results and a symbolic variable with the specific name, here we call this taint label, is added to the exploitable path and this symbolic variable is initially set by zero you know, and then it will be defined and it is also defined as taint pc and pc here stands for program content all right and after identifying exploitable paths eth false begins to generate concrete input for the labeled path to avoid pass exploit, uh, pass, uh, exploit uh, explosion issue, which is very common in uh, symbolic engines, we perform this stage with the help of the collected actual and runtime data during the you know dynamic execution. 
So uh, our symbolic in engine uh, basically um, did not trap during our analysis in infinitive loops and invisible paths, which are basically the most critical issues with symbolic execution in software testing. The exploit uh, generation system operates based on the Z3 SMT solver. And uh, consequently, we model the exploitable basically path as a logical formula. So and it's when we build that one, we send it to Z3 SMT solver, and the solver is responsible for executing the executable path symbolically and collect a set of path constraints to deliver uh, the values. And we call these values actually payloads for our exploit. So in the Z3 engine, the outcome of this modeling is actual practical exploits to trigger um, vulnerabilities or zero-day vulnerabilities and issues inside of target EVM bytecode or inside of basically a smart contracts binary. So regarding our um, evaluation, um, here you can see uh, our result. We analyze one million available smart contract uh, on the Ethereum main blockchain. We collected these smart contracts from the beginning of October 2019 until the end of December 2019 with the help of a tool, free open source tool, which is called EtherScan. And here you can see basically more details about our benchmark set in terms of average num uh, number of line of code, uh, in terms of basically ETH moving, uh, in terms of the origin interactions, and so on and so forth. So number of libraries inside, number of contracts, etc. So you can also take a look at the paper for further details. So uh, regarding um, our analysis environment, we made the experiments uh, on a 8 uh, core Xeon uh, W3.2 GHz machine with 32 GB RAM running on open Ubuntu Linux. Um, and in order to avoid any potential deadlock, we dedicated only five minutes as the maximum analyzer's uh, time. And how we basically yield this number uh, basically, it was based on experiments, a uh, multiple configuration of ETH files on 1,000 arbitrary contracts to reach the maximum path coverage. So we found, um, this is how basically we um, came across with five minutes here. Um, and our analysis actually uh, took about 60 days or two months. And as a result, we could identify more than 26,000 vulnerabilities and we could generate exploit for them. So in this table here, you can see some of the uh, well-known but vulnerable smart contracts on the Ethereum blockchain, the live uh, blockchain. Uh, and of course, for further details about uh, vulnerabilities, you can take a look at the paper. So um, here you can see um, um, basically our framework, uh, basically the rate of false positive results in our analysis which is around 1.7%, which is very low in comparing with other tools. And this is due to the usage of actual runtime data provided by the dynamic execution module. So we deal with actual real data instead of having approximation or estimation. Therefore, we have a more true positive, you know, and our, the rate of false positive here is actually quite low. So, uh, in terms of comparison with related work, um, you know, security analysis for the smart contracts ecosystem is continuously gaining attention of researchers, especially cybersecurity analysis. So, in this respect, Oyente uh, is one of the pioneers in performing vulnerability detection that in this tool basically leverages uh, symbolic execution testing for identifying bugs uh, in the Ethereum smart contracts. Similarly, Zeus works based on a formal verification method to build and verify the correctness of security policies in a given smart contract. We do have other tools such as Sgram and uh, Regard. Uh, both take a smart contracts in Solidity source code. They work based on source code and report potential security issues based on the static predefined patterns. Uh, we also have Secu uh, Securify, another alter a very uh, reputable tool, uh, 
uh, that basically is uh, a static analyzer and it takes both source code and the EVM bytecode for performance security analyzer so it doesn't support any dynamic execution and uh, although our work was initially inspired by the tools mentioned before our approach has multiple advantage over previous tools so this table here uh, in a nutshell represent the result of our comparison analysis with well-known tools in this ecosystem all right so here you can here also this table illustrate uh, our comparison in terms of the uh, capability of tools in recognizing a wide range of security vulnerabilities so as you can see some of the tools are actually limited to just a few bugs only uh, however ETH uh, fast ETH fast actually uh, support a wide range of bugs uh, in blockchain layer in the EVM layer and in solidity source code layer so regarding challenges and future work, you know, um, since a smart contract code is expected to be immutable after development and pushing to the mainnet, and contract owners are anonymous, like people who have Ethereum, Bitcoin, and other tokens, um, responsible disclosure is usually infeasible. Hence, dealing with vulnerable contracts seems to be quite challenging, and uh, there are there appears to be no way of addressing the errors detected in already deployed contracts on the network so we can actually change the code and update that therefore the contract owners can only uh, deprecate the co vulnerable uh, contract move all the funds out of the system use a new contracts and move the funds to the new contracts which is actually cumbersome and it's not feasible in many cases since other contracts might uh, reference the uh, the address of the vulnerable contract because this ecosystem contracts actually communicate with each other it can really hurt the uh, vulnerable application and the whole ecosystem however it seems that designing a runtime sh uh, shield module in ETH scan uh, in the future can help not to protect uh, uh, basically um, um, you know vulnerable contracts against various runtime attacks but also provide a layer of protection uh, for general uh, smart contracts in order to detect and report uh, potential cyber attacks. So in a nutshell, this uh, presentation today introduced ETH FOS as a practical and portable security analysis and automatic exploit generation framework uh, for a smart contracts ecosystem. Our approach takes uh, into consideration the complexity of uh, analyzing real-world commercial smart contracts where the source code is not available and effectively address them. The novelty of paper is um, to use basically an efficient analysis system that identifies zero-day bugs, unseen attacks, and generates reliable exploits uh, for identified bugs without human interaction by combining a hybrid approach based on a static call graph analysis, dynamic execution, and symbolic testing in order to gain um, accurate result with maximum coverage. Thank you very much for your attention. Please read the paper or contact me by this email.